An A-B test is a test of a specific element on your website. So the element could be either something simple like a heading or something more complex like a whole section. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to test something simple like this heading. So to do that, I'm going to create an A-B test. I'm going to give it a name, something like heading. Once I've created the test, I'm going to create different variants. So each variant is a version of the element you're testing. So I'm going to create variant A. And once I've created variant A, I'm going to connect this variant to the actual element on the page. So to do that, I need to select the correct element. In this case, I'm testing this heading and I need to click connect. Once that is connected, we can go back and we can create a second version of the variant. So in this, this case, it's going to be variant B. Once variant B is created, we need to actually duplicate variant A. So I'm going to right click on the variant A and I'm going to click duplicate. This is going to create a second version of the heading. I'm going to give it a different name like heading B. I'm going to select heading B and I'm going to click connect. So now we can see only one variant is going to be visible at a time. So currently uh, variant B is visible. If I go back and I click variant A, now variant A is visible. Um, and now I can make changes to it. And this is going to be variant A. Again, variant B, the other one appears. So now that I have that connected, I can make the test go live. Once that is, uh, once, the, once the test is live, I need to publish the changes. Once the changes are published, I can visit the website and I can see that um, heading B has appeared. So when you visit the website, there's going to be um, a random chance that either heading A or heading B appears. Um, now that the heading B has appeared for me, even if I refresh, heading B is consistently still going to show up. Um, that is because we want to have a single user to have a consistent experience. If somebody else from a different device visits the website, they might see heading A. So if I go back to the editor and I look at the app and I go into the results um, tab, I can see tested user one and zero conversion events because I didn't trigger any conversion events. If I go back and I trigger a conversion event that I have set up previously, so I leave um, an email here. If I now go back, I can see conversion event one uh, shows up in the results tab. I can see a more detailed version of the results if I click on this results button that takes me to the web app where you can filter results by date um, or you can filter results to only see certain conversions. In the web app, we can also see se views separately. So uh, this is going to give you a more detailed look at um, all the events that have been triggered, either view, view events or conversion events.